FBA, please don't fall for this. Oh my goodness. So there is a video that has gone viral amongst black Twitter and it's a video of Ann Coulter. Yes, Ann Coulter who called out Vivek Ramaswamy for being Indian and said that she wouldn't vote uh, simply because he was Indian. Yes, that Ann Coulter. And a lot of these FBA and ADOS individuals uh, are losing their minds over this video. We, we gotta get into it because, <laughs> because what they believe she's saying is not what she's actually saying. The, the C-SPAN host is asking her about this column she did on Substack where she said Trump talking about, well, I don't know she's Indian. I didn't know she was black. She said she was black. I thought she was Indian. And Ann, and Ann Coulter said this was crucial. This was pivotal. Until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. Why do you say that was an important point? But when asked about why was this pivotal, she goes and says exactly the opposite of what Trump said. She goes on to say that it was pivotal and what Trump should have said is that affirmative action, you know, all these, you know, policy, civil rights was for, and she uses the word, <laughs> the un- the unspoken, uh, infamous word that gets these people like, honestly, seagulls from Nemo. And that is FBA, bruh. Well, I write about this a little bit in my book, Mugged, about racial demagoguery and, and also in Adios America about immigration. And that is the, the important point he should have made is that the entire purpose of affirmative action, set asides, um, um, civil rights laws, laws that limit constitutional rights to freedom of contract, freedom of association, all of that was to make up for the legacy of, of slavery and Jim Crow. So unless these benefits are going to, you know, roughly defined um, foundational black Americans. FBA? the descendants of, of American slaves. Um, you've taken away the whole purpose of this. Bruh, they, <laughs> right? I don't, it's become a cult. Somehow they managed to transform a lineage into a cult due to the absolute idiocy and the political ignorance of these people. And it, it's just painful to watch. So now you have all these FBA people, right? Cause she says foundational black American, uh, Americans who are descendants of, of slavery, right? She's using the calling card of black people. She's using the, the, the jargon of these groups in order to, to garner attention to say, hey, see, I know what you're all talking about. Uh, Boondocks was right on the nail, right on the nail. Bravo, hey, baby. Hey, come here, give come me come some of that sugar, daddy. Now, if you remember, what was the whole thing about Ann Coulter on Boondocks? Is that Ann Coulter didn't believe anything she was saying, but she was doing this with other grifters and hustlers to make a buck. That's all it was about. It's about making money. Hey, I say this, you say this. We work hand in hand. I'll see y'all tomorrow. So her saying foundational black American and the sins of you know, slavery or whatnot, that's, that's a little too close uh, you know, for comfort for me. Because it seems like, okay, y'all a bunch of hustlers and grifters. That's what it seems like. And you hustling and grifting, you doing it off of white people's, you know, the white Republicans, and everyone else, he's doing it off of a black Black uh, Democrats or black people. So it's like y'all are both hustling your own people. Oh. She goes and talks about how this should have been for, you know, black Americans and foundational black Americans, right? She just used, she's just using words, right? Foundational black Americans, black Americans, uh, descendants of, of, of slavery, all this, all these, you know, these trigger words. And she's talking about how, it, it, you know, how it's become uh, an anti-white, uh, 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 you know, storm. That's what it's become. That instead of it being used for these people, now it's being used to discriminate against white people. And that is exactly what's happened once we got this, this huge load of immigrants. Now, you know, a Thai who arrived on Wednesday will get an advantage applying to college, applying to corporations over over, a, well, a heterosexual white male in particular. That's the biggest hate group. But any white American. And then she goes on, and it's honestly, it's the classic meme <laughs> where, where you have the rich white guy in the middle with all the cookies, and he's saying, hey, he wants to take your cookie. What she's doing is she's using judo. She's using the rhetoric within these, these small niche groups of the black community, and she's using that as a means to protect her, you know, as far as white people, in order to, to shield her from anti-white racism, as she says. So she's getting them 
to sick, you know, other people so that they can benefit. And no one seems to see this. No one. Because she's like, hey, I, I tell my black friends all the time. I tell black people, you know, you ever notice that all the Indians are taking all the diversity jobs? Kamala isn't a foundational black American. I'm always. FBA? Pointing out to, to black people. Um, hey, have you noticed Indians are getting all the good diversity jobs? And it's like, what? <laughs> what do you, what? No, I personally haven't noticed that all the Indians are taking the diversity jobs. I don't know what to tell you. Here's the hustle. The hustle is, to all my FBA Adolf friends, what has Republicans, what has Trump, what has any Republican in the history of this country in modern times advocated for? They haven't advocated for black Americans. The reason why they were against as far as civil rights, the reason why they were against affirmative action, the reason why they were against many of these policies that were meant, as she said, which is correct, meant for black Americans, is that it had nothing to do as far as whether it was black Americans. If you think that re Republicans, that Mitch McConnell would have been okay if Democrats had presented a policy that was specifically and solely for black Americans or descendants of slaves or foundational black Americans, that he would have been like, okay, I'll let that pass. Then you are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and you've drank in the Kool-Aid. You just chugged the Kool-Aid. The issue is not whether you're a black American. The issue is not whether you're a foundational black American or an uh, African descendant of slavery. The issue is that you are black. That's the issue. That's the whole point. So that is where the hustle comes in. The hustle comes in is that even though what she's saying may be as far as historically true, it's irrelevant because Republicans wouldn't co-sign it anyway. What makes this actually even more heinous than what, it, than what it's transformed into is that there's been no pushback. Do you get that? that Republicans haven't been advocating for black Americans. Hey, we don't like diversity. We, we don't like that because it takes jobs away from black Americans. It takes jobs away from foundational black Americans. Hey, we don't like you as far as considering as far as, you know, Indians as a part of, of diversity. We don't, we don't agree with that because, you know, Kamala Harris isn't a foundational black American and that's the job should be for them. That's not what they're arguing. They're arguing for white people. Hence, why she made it about who? She didn't make it about black people. She made, she tried to use black people to attack Indian people in order to benefit who? White people. That's her whole purpose. So the whole purpose is not she's trying to, you know, be a warrior or a truth teller for black people. The whole purpose is, hey, they using this to discriminate, discriminate against white people. Her plea on the video wasn't towards black people, it was to white people. It was like white people. If you want to vote for Democrats who are advocating for anti-white racism, is that really who you want to vote for? Not only to point out to, to black Americans that their history is being stolen by immigrants, but to remind white Americans that this whole diversity thing is just discrimination against them. You still want to vote for the Democrats? So it's crazy how politically ignorant many of these FBA and ADOS and these, these cult-like you know, groups are to actual politics. They don't see that they're being played right in front of their face. She knows that she can mention a few trigger words, like I'll mention this, I'll mention that, and get their attention. You know, like the seagulls, what, FBA, FBA, FBA? And then she'll use them to her benefit. The problem that has happened it's not a Republican, it's not a Democrat issue. The issue is a black people issue. The issue is that we are significantly politically uneducated. We are politically just retarded in many cases. And it is coming to the point where there is no looking back. There is no return. There is not gonna be any means or, or way to fix this. That's why I stress, hey, we've got to get our stuff together this year. Is it likely to happen? You know, do things just happen, you know, all of a sudden? No, it doesn't happen. But I would argue that I would, I would pray that we make some inroads during this election than just simply, you know, saying, I'm going to sit on the couch. Sitting on the couch is precisely what they want you to do. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Um... I, I, there is no either or here because I know there's going to be people who are like, she's right. She's right, Lucas. So she's right. She's telling the truth. OK. And now what? What do you do with her telling the truth? What do we do with that? How does that translate to Trump policy, FBA policy, ADOS policy? How does that translate to anything? I don't know what to tell. It doesn't. That's the whole point. <laughs> it doesn't. OK.
Now, if she's going to be as far as, a, I don't know, on Trump's cabinet, unlikely. But yeah, sure, then we would have something. But J.D. Vance isn't echoing what she's saying. Trump isn't echoing what she's saying. Any of his cabinet members, at least based off of his past presidency, isn't echoing what she's saying. So, yeah, that's great that she understands that, but it doesn't benefit us. So I don't see where the W is. What is the W is that she used, she used that favorite word of yours? This, this is why you, we get what we get, because we're so easily appeased. We're so easily appeased that they know they, they have to do the bare minimum and Negroes will be like, oh yeah, that's right, you yeah, that good. That leads to extinction because you're seen as a political joke and jokes aren't taken seriously, hence why they're jokes. Nevertheless, you know where to find me if you disagree. Uh, Friday through Sunday, disagreement day, call in and we'll talk it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. What did you take out of the video? Did you think it was positive, negative, or indifferent? And subscribe and all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. FBA?